I'm going to show you how to add your own OpenAI API keys into Reflect. This will allow you to bypass any credit or usage limits, or at the very least, you'll be able to set them yourself on your own OpenAI account. And I do want to give a warning here that uh, this is different than having GPT-4 access through ChatGPT+. The OpenAI API key is different. So I, for example, pay for ChatGPT+, so I can access GPT-4 through it, but I do not yet have the API key access to GPT-4. I'm still on the wait list. But I do have access to GPT 3.5 and I can enter in that key. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But if you do have GPT 4 access, go ahead and enter that so that you can use GPT 4 and reflect. So let's go over to the OpenAI site. This is their platform here. And if you go all the way to the bottom here, there's a section called API keys. But first, we're actually going to go into billing because if you don't yet, you're going to need to set up a paid account. And if you don't yet have a paid account, this button will say, set up a paid account, I think. And there might also be one up here that says upgrade. And you're going to enter in your payment details. And then I recommend going over to usage limits. This hard limit here, $100, mine will not surpass that no matter what. And I have it set to send me an email alert when I hit $20. And I just set this up. So OpenAI is only going to give me $120 credit total, but that should be plenty for how much I want to use it. That would be quite a lot. Now, going back to the API key section, you're going to want to create a new key. I'm going to title it for Reflect, but you can title it whatever you want. But again, if you have GPT-4 access, make sure that you are setting it up for GPT-4. Again, I do not. So this is just my GPT-3.5 key. I'm going to create this key. And as the box suggests, make sure you copy and save it before closing out of this box because you won't be able to access the key again. They'll just send, give you a preview. And then we're going to go back into Reflect. I'm going to paste my key there. That's all I need to do. Let's go back to my daily note here and run a prompt on this little test I have set up to make sure it worked. I'll just have it answer the question. And beautiful, it's working. So if you get a message that says you've surpassed the usage limits and it's only a few words like this, that means that you do not have billing set up. You don't have a paid account set up for the API key, which you're going to need. And again, if you do not yet have access to the GPT-4 API key, you can join the wait list. I signed up a little while ago. I think it's been a couple of weeks now and I still don't have access. I'm guessing because I'm not a developer. But if you want access, go ahead and join the wait list because that means they'll probably get access sooner.